guys, it is just after noon, Sunday, February 26th. We spent the morning doing the last of the dishes, the dishwashers going, laundry, the last loads in the dryer. We're gonna go for a walk now. It did not snow last night the way they said it was going to, but snow is still in the forecast. So while it's not too icy outside and it's not raining, we're gonna go walking. I'll be gone like a block and a half. I'm already winded and warm. And it's just a little icy. So we're gonna be careful. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 1.38 p.m. Monday, February 27th. I wish I could tell you I haven't vlogged before now because I've been busy. I don't lie though. <laughs> I've been busy sitting in the chair. I actually slept in. I think I needed to sleep. It's been a hectic two weeks. Um, I just relaxed my morning away and that was okay. I do have to go empty the dryer, but I mean, other than a few chores, I haven't done much. I did just get the vlog edited, so I did do that. Um, I'm going to mix some custom paint colors because I do have another one of these coming, which is what I'm using for a portable palette. Now, it does have lids. I've taken the lids do come out easily. You can put them back in when you want to fold it up, and then when you do want to fold it up, it's actually a pill case um, and it's working really well for my abstract watercolors. I have to have two or more of them, but that's okay. They fold up really small. And then I have a nice big, big space for the paints to be in and for me to dip other things other than traditional watercolor brushes in to make painting marks. Um, I don't use actually that many brushes when I'm doing it. So anyway, I've got a couple more of those coming in. But in the meantime, I've got some custom colors I wanna make. Old me would have just gone to go buy them and found where I could find them. But that's not healthy and it's not, also not smart, especially with your pocketbook. And I have lots of paint. So I pulled out some of the paints I wanna use up and I separated them out by color. I've got a lot of these old tubes of watercolor paint. They never really go bad, but but I want to use them up. And um, I'm going to mix the couple of colors I find myself using more and more when I'm doing some of the abstract watercolors, including this one. That peachy tone and that sort of cool toned sandy color. I, I'm finding myself mixing them all the time, which I can do. I know how to do. If you're going to start painting, you should learn how to mix paint. I, I never went too far into color theory because my brain wanted to go to sleep, but you should know the basics of mixing, mixing paint. Anyway, and I could mix them. I do right now all the time, but I'd like the color like already pre-mixed in a pan where I've already done it. And then I can just use that. I mean, you know, if you find yourself using a color or mixing a color all the time, that's the time to create the custom color or, or buy the custom color. So generally speaking, in my experience, I start with, when I started watercoloring, I started with a basic set. And then if I found myself mixing a lot of something like purple, you know, then I figured, you know, I'm just going to go buy purple. Um, but maybe that's not a color you use a lot, but there's something else. And maybe it's a color that's hard to find pre-mixed, like the peachy tone, I think is going to, would be hard. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to do that today. And maybe I'll film it for the vlog since we had this distinct lack of creative artistic content in last week's vlog because it was yeah, just life focused. Not that there's I guess anything wrong with that, but Anyway, so while the vlog is rendering, I am going to go empty the dryer, put the lunch dishes away, and Maybe finish watching my soap opera, and then when all of that is done, I have to download some video footage from the video camera for the next Fixing the Flow video, and or maybe film a clip for that, because I think there's something else I want to talk about, and I'm really getting the impression I should film it for that video. So anyway, always a lot to do, but that's okay. I'll be back. Hey guys, yeah, I was listening to some Reddit stories and mixing paint and I was like, is it raining outside? It's raining outside. It's not snowing, no. Um, 
I mixed some custom paint colors. Instead of just mixing two, I ended up with four. I have very little white watercolor paint left, so I'm that's the one I'm gonna have to order. Um, I use it all the time, but I think when those boxes come in, I'm gonna end up with a, a neutral palette. So I have one that's primarily blues, although there is a purple and a brown in there. I have one that's like red, yellow, and green, and now I'm gonna have one that's sort of a neutral. So it's gonna have black, um, neutral tint and white in it, along with these four colors that I just mixed up. So, can't say I'm mad about it. It's all good. All right, now I've got to figure out if I want to go check the mailbox. We haven't gotten mail since it started snowing, so. All right, I'll be back. Good morning. It is all of 36 degrees and snowy. But I've got to go run errands. I don't drive in the snow. I've only done it like once in my whole entire almost 60 years of life. But I do live in the Pacific Northwest now, so I better get used to it, right? So we're going to just drive slow. I do have a Subaru all-wheel drive. Um, anyway, I've got to go get something notarized for my daughter. I've got to mail tax return information. I've got to drop off some donations. I've got to go to Walgreens. Like, it's just like a lot of things. They have to be done today and then come home and I need to upload the videos I edited yesterday to YouTube, so. I'd like to just sit in my chair under the blanket and sip tea all day, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, it is, what time is it? 2.37. Our cleaning lady was able to get here today and um, she got through the job pretty quickly today. Um, she did have a little accident. She's She didn't get hurt. But she did slip and start to fall here in the upstairs bathroom. She grabbed the towel bar and literally ripped it out of the wall. Um, it can be fixed. I'm just glad she's not hurt. Um, her ex-husband actually is a contractor slash handyman person. She actually called him to come fix it. So I guess he's going to come by and fix it Saturday. But yeah, I'm just glad she didn't get hurt. And I told her that the towel bar can be fixed. But yeah, anyway... <laughs> I need some jelly beans now. I'll be back.
morning, everybody. I have a video conference call with a patron this morning in a couple minutes. I'm going to help her as I can, hopefully, with her creative space. She moved a, a little while ago uh, into a smaller place, and she's been having trouble setting up her creative space ever since, I think. So we are going to hopefully talk her through some help on that. And yeah, I'm going to sip some coffee while I'm doing it because I'm still drinking my morning coffee. It's 9 a.m., but you know, some days I just have trouble getting started. All right. And yes, I had to put that down because it was just too bright. All right. I'll be back. Hey, you guys. I, um, hold on. I'm going to take this out of my ear so I'm not distracted. So anyway, I seem to be on this swampy, foresty, abstracted landscape thing. However, I am loving the new palette of colors I mixed up the other day. And I've added some blue and purples and greens obviously in there. And I love the way this one turned out. What do y'all think? Otherwise, I'm not doing a lot with my day today. But that's okay, I think. Did I even say it's Wednesday, March 1st? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, it's after one o'clock in the afternoon and my sister and her husband are driving down from my dad's house. I think they're spending the night here and then heading back to Utah in the morning. A mini family meeting here with my daughter, Rebecca, and her husband, Polyus, because um, they're doing some family legal paperwork and they need to meet up and I needed to get a document notarized, which I did yesterday. Anyway, all the things. All right, I should go to Costco, but like I just told Bob, I don't feel like it. So I'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, I think that's it for the minute. All right, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, do I look like a crazy hot mess? There might be a reason for that. My hair is, I mean, it's not super bad today, but anyway. Um, I, it's 10, 19 a.m. Thursday, March 2nd. I was supposed to be out of the house before now, but it has been a hot, crazy morning. Um, started off with uh, my sister and her husband um, leaving early this morning to hit the road and head back home to Utah. Um, there were some challenges um, with them being away from home as long as they had planned, so they needed to get back home early. So we wish them safe travels, and I think she forgot something at my dad's, so I think they have to stop at my dad's on the way out of town. Anyway, then I had to message our housekeeper, Letty. Um, I don't know what the time of filming this until I edit if I said that when she was cleaning yesterday, um, she was cleaning and she slipped and started to fall in the upstairs bathroom. Thankfully, she didn't hurt herself, but she ripped the towel bar out of the wall. Um, she didn't do it on purpose, so it's no problem. Her ex is a handyman or carpenter or something, and so she's going to have him come fix it. And um, <laughs> he was going to do it Saturday, and then I realized that's not going to work. Um, there's a bunch of stuff we have to do, plus Bob is leaving for California to see his mother, who I've, I know I've said is not doing well. And we need to kind of focus on getting him ready to go do that and all that stuff. So um, I said, can he come some other Saturday? He's not going to really work. So he's going to come Sunday. Um, and then I had to fill out a bunch of new forms for our new dentist, because our old dentist um, retired and or went out of business at the end of last year, unexpectedly. So yeah, that was fun. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I hate filling out new doctor forms. They don't give me a panic attack like they used to, but at the same time, they are not fun to fill out. I know you all know what I'm talking about. They are just not. So anyway, um, and then my brother messaged in the midst of all of that. And while I was getting dressed this morning about he and his wife coming up from California for a visit. So um, as I'm filming this, getting messages on that text message thread, my husband is talking to him. I said, can you, can you deal with this this morning? I can't, I gotta go. I gotta go to Costco. I gotta go run a couple errands. I really wanna get it over with. <laughs> so anyway, 
All right. I also had some really great messages from KP over at Art Foamies and I actually created a couple of new Art Foamy designs out of the blue this morning while I was drinking my coffee and you know, some fun things happened this morning too. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is just after 12.30, Friday, March 3rd. One of Bob's little friends, I don't know if you can see, he's right there. He's on the fence wondering where his lunch is, but he's gonna have to wait. We have dental appointments with a new dentist. <sighs> yes, I'm doing my breathing. One of the things that's since on my anxiety is anybody medical. <laughs> And especially if I have to go to a new doctor. So although I handle it better than I used to, yeah, it's still a thing. So <sighs> I hate the dentist. All right, so I'm gonna get my shoes on and we're gonna get going and I'm, I'll let you know how it goes. It is 10, 13 or something a.m. Saturday, March 4th. We are getting our morning chores done and Bob is working on his laundry because he is headed to California to see his mom, which I don't mind telling y'all because by the time you see this, he'll be back. But his mom is not doing well, as I've said, so he needs to go see her. So he's gonna go do that for a quick overnight trip. Anyway, I got the plants watered, I got the dishes done. And, you know, I was cleaning out the bathroom cabinets as one should do periodically, especially when you have long hair. Cause I don't know what happens, but 
The bathroom cabinets just get full of hair. I don't know what the deal is with that, but anyway. I had all these makeup brushes. I used to wear makeup all the time. Hang on. Asthmatic here. I just climbed up the stairs. Hold on. Okay. Um, I used to wear a lot of makeup, and back in the day, I didn't like go out of the house anywhere without a full face of makeup. I haven't done that in at least a decade, if not longer. While I occasionally do wear some makeup, as you all know, I don't do full foundation or anything. I just, I just don't do that. I don't have a need to do that. So I have all these makeup brushes that I wasn't using and haven't used. I only use like two or three. So I kept the ones that I want to use for actually for makeup and I'm I w I'm not letting the rest go there's actually quite a few of them we are gonna that's right they're up here in the art room we're gonna use them for abstract painting so make makeup brushes they're one of my favorite things to use now while some of these are back in the day were pretty pricey makeup brushes these are like 20 years old at least um this one for instance this is a Lauren Hutton. I don't even know if that makeup company is even around anymore. Um, anyway, they were pricey back in the day, but rather than just tossing them out or getting rid of them, I am going to uh, use them for abstract painting. They're inexpensive brush. They're not obviously non-traditional. They're not intended for paint, but using non-intended things for painting in the abstract especially helps free up my mark making and makes me less feeling like I have to or need to paint anything realistic rather than just painting how I feel, um, which is the whole point behind these. So anyway, so we're gonna use those for that. So if you are looking into painting anything abstracted and you're struggling like I was for a long time, um, look at unusual mark making tools. If you've watched any of my shorts about this, you know I don't use paint brushes often. I do use them, but I don't. <laughs> so, but I don't use them strictly, just them. So, um, anyway, yeah, that's my morning. How about you? All right, I'm gonna check on some email and stuff. Hey I'll guys, be back. We're gonna head towards home. We just dropped Bob off at the airport. Um. And I say towards home because I got some errands to run on the way, including donate some stuff um, that I need to let go of, um, including a few tubes of paint are in the bag. Anyway, um, we're going to let it go. I'm going to go drop it off. I have to check the P.O. box and I need to go run some mail over to the kids' house because they keep having their mail sent to my house for some reason. So, yeah. All right. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. It is 9.34 p.m. I got a bunch of chores done. I got dinner in me. I got the daily drawings done and posted. Bob landed safely quite a few hours ago now yeah, in California. So I'm sure that's going well. I think I'm gonna actually put myself to bed early. I'm gonna probably take my tablet and stuff with me and maybe watch a little YouTube in bed, cause why not, and then go to sleep. I ain't got nobody here to tell me not to. Anyway, it was so cute when I dropped the kids' mail off at their house. They'd been out baby shopping, and I, they were describing shopping. And I said, but, you know, the most important question I have for you is, did you have fun? They said no, because it was all gift returns and exchanges and snot suckers. And I said, oh, you didn't get to go shopping for the fun stuff? They said no. <laughs> and she's just so done being pregnant. Anyway. It's been a good day. It's been a good week. I hope you guys have had a good week too. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd love that. Uh, let's get this thing growing. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do leave them down below. I answer every single comment on my channel. And my video description down there, if you check it out, has all my relevant links and places you can find me on social media, uh, links to the book I wrote over on Amazon um, and my happy mail address, all that stuff. So check it out. Anyway, have a good weekend. Have a good week next week and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.